Welcome to another episode of Crypto Miner, guys. Today we are going to be explaining what is going to happen for the future of the Bitcoin price. We are going to be checking everything to what the technical analysis has to say right now, what things are looking like, and of course, we are going to be showing you what is the expected move from here and now. Scroll down, smash this like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button for all notifications and of course we are gonna be jumping directly to the chart to find out what we have right there. As far as we see the Bitcoin price in the BLX chart right now, as far as we check also on the weekly chart, is pretty much looking what we have been expecting so far. The move that we are watching of course is up to the 28,800 to the approximately 31,000. Uh, so this is the two moves that we are expecting in case Bitcoin had some kind of power, some kind of momentum that is showing an upwards move. Right now, what we are going to be pointing as well is the bearish divergence, clear bearish divergence on the weekly chart. So what we could see is another move and then leg to what's the downside regarding to what the BLX chart is proving at this point. Now, however, uh, what we would like to see as well, guys, is the fact that, of course, if we are going to be dumping even down to the 14,000, yes, this is a chance, then we could see another move and a very nice W pattern playing out at this point, a double bottom scenario, basically. So we could see a further move towards the upper side. And of course, this would be another chance and another uh, point of bullish divergence. And we could have another very nice leg towards the upper side. So we can expect from then after we are actually reaching the downside, even at the 4th of March by 2024, another leg towards the upper side and of course breaking out the resistance line that is standing right here and this would be the major, major, major step so we can see further price action for the next bull market run. Going down on the daily chart, the things that we are expecting guys is those two beautiful scenarios that I have been posting also in my Twitter account. You can easily go and find everything right there. Uh, is the fact that right now, yes, we could see another leg towards the upper side and of course a very nice move uh, to the 26,300 but this is the max price in case we are reversing and of course we are going to be checking also in the lower time frames what is happening at this point. This is pure uh, fractals, pure uh, data, what is happening in the charts right now. What we are going to be pointing as well is the fact that we see bearish move right here in the momentum waves and of course on the downside and of course a curve to the money flow. So yes, we could have another leg towards the downside, but we are going to be showing as well what we are expecting because this has to do also with the time limits. We are going down to the six hour time frame and what we are going to be pointing right now is of course this very nice small bullish divergence we have right here that they could have another leg to watch the upper side but uh, here guys i wanted to say that we have to see uh, this price as fast as we can uh, within like three days and uh, the next three days yes we could have some kind of bullish trajectory in case this thing is actually holding at this point we are not dumping further than 21,000. 950 because in case this happens guys of course the scenario is very 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 bearish and uh, we could have at least a leg to the 20,400 this is the next move that we are expecting and of course if we are going to be also losing uh, this kind of point then uh, what I have to say is that 18,300 is going to be uh, reached faster of what we are actually expecting. Now, don't forget that it wouldn't be bearish a roll to come down here at 18,300, of course, and then see another leg towards the upper side. Why? Because uh, what we are expecting at this point is that all of these bias and everything, it cannot really uh, prove uh, the fact that we are still holding, and especially if you go on the daily chart here, guys, you see very nicely that we could have another price reversal and of course another leg to watch the upper side so we can see the curve of these EMA ribbons, the crossing down and of course the other leg to watch the downside. So uh, it could be a scenario that we are dumping all the way to the 20,278 uh, and then reversing back to the 22,200 and then another leg to watch the downside. It looks like a corrective wave to all of these moves that we had until now. However, however, this scenario at this point that we are going to be uh, kind of kind of uh, breaking this resistance line down here 
uh, it could have, of course, a potential like towards the other side. And of course, finally visiting uh, the area 26,500 almost. Now, why am I pointing to the scenarios? Because guys, if you are going to come in down here, then more money will enter the market. And of course, more people can have the power to uh, take this all the way up to the 28,000. 560 and this is the level where i'm watching right now meanwhile in the dxy what we are going to be uh, also analyzing here is the fact that this fake out move that i have been explaining in many videos guys i have been explaining also in my twitter account this is what happened this is why we have been dumping so far but this guys is looking like a crazy crazy bull flag scenario uh, and if this guy is going to break to what's the upper side at 105 to 100 and 573, what I have to say, guys, is that uh, we could easily visit prices to the 122. This is the level of what I'm going to be pointing approximately uh, here. And we can see also by the FIB levels, a very nice, uh, like, kind of retracement is exactly do you see right now. It's, it's just unbelievable, guys. 121. Uh, this is the level where I'm expecting at the first price uh, in case we are guys breaking and we are holding over the 105 for the DXY. This, of course, is going to mean very, very, very low prices uh, for the rest of the financial markets. And, of course, pretty much a disaster that is about to be um, for not only for the S&P 500, but also for the Nasdaq. So uh, please keep this in mind is not something that we could play with and uh, what what we are going to be pointing right now is that we have a kind of hidden bullet divergence here uh we could see another leg towards the upper side in case this breaks right now things are going to be looking very 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 bad uh in case we are holding prices over the 105 however positive thing right now in case we are going to be reversing towards the downside and of course reaching the 102 this is the prices where are going where we are going to be uh, actually mentioning in case we see this kind of uh, 102 then of course the double bottom formation another bullish move towards the upper side for the DXY where we are going to be also checking the financial markets uh, start giving a kind of pump we have seen also on Friday uh, closing both Nasdaq and S&P they have been looking very 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 healthy and good but uh, yes it could be a price reversal we could see further uh, price action towards the downside and of course, um, another leg in case uh, we are finding double bottom here or in case that uh, DXY, uh, the dollar is going to be breaking towards the upper side back to the Bitcoin price. Pretty similar scenario right here. What we're going to be checking as well is the fact that because we are pretty much knowing what is happening regarding the fundamental side, I mean, uh, all of this stuff regarding the Coinbase, the Paxos and all of this. Uh, with the silver gate, of course, being one of the problems right now. And of course, the things that they could dump Bitcoin even further at this point and where we are talking today. Now, of course, if we are going to be also checking uh, this chart, what we could see is, of course, another leg towards the downside, pretty much uh, in case if we are going to be breaking this ascending broadening wedge, if we are going to be visiting the 0 0.618, 0 0.5, the approximately 20,473, this would be a very nice also confirmation, a second confirmation for the Bitcoin price so we can see further uh, prices towards the upper side. But this is how I have been uh, checking and analyzing the market today. I am not sure if we are going to be uh, watching right now further prices to the 22,800 and then another price reversal. That's the thing that I'm not so uh, so sure about. But yes, this could be uh, one of the cases. And yes, we could see if, uh, Bitcoin breaking towards the downside and of course uh, reaching the prices that we have been explaining as well. I hope this was very helpful content for you guys. I'm going to be out uh, of trading for the next couple of days until we see price action for bitcoin price and uh, maybe later on we could finding some ways to uh, trade after that thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one of crypto minder bye bye <laughs>